Iron represents perhaps the best known example for a lot of in a metal. At atmospheric pressure, there are three allotropic forms of iron. Alpha iron A, K, A, ferrite, gamma iron A, K, A, austenite, and delta iron. At very high pressure, a fourth form exists, called epsilon iron hexaferrum. Some controversial experimental evidence exists for another high-pressure form that is stable at very high pressures and temperatures. The phases of iron at atmospheric pressure are important because of the differences in solubility of carbon, forming different types of steel. The high-pressure phases of iron are important as models for the solid parts of planetary cores. The inner core of the Earth is generally assumed to consist essentially of a crystalline iron nickel alloy with epsilon structure. The outer core surrounding the solid inner core is believed to be composed of liquid iron mixed with nickel and trace amounts of lighter elements. Standard pressure allotropes. Delta iron. As molten iron cools down, it solidifies at 1595 degrees Celsius into its delta allotrope, which has a body-centered cubic crystal structure. Delta iron can dissolve as much as 0.09% of carbon by mass at 1493 degrees Celsius. Gamma iron. Austenite as the iron cools further to 1300 394 degrees Celsius its crystal structure changes to a face-centered cubic crystalline structure. In this form it is called gamma iron or austenite. Gamma iron can dissolve considerably more carbon. This gamma form of carbon saturation is exhibited in stainless steel. Beta iron, beta ferrite and beta iron are obsolete terms for the paramagnetic form of ferrite. The primary phase of low carbon and mild steel and most cast irons at room temperature is ferromagnetic ferrite. As iron of ferritic steel is heated above the critical temperature A2, a curie temperature of 771 degrees Celsius. The random thermal agitation of the atoms exceeds the oriented magnetic moment of the unpaired electron spins in the 3D shell. The A2 forms the low temperature boundary of the beta iron field in the phase diagram in figure 1. Beta ferrite is crystallographically identical to alpha ferrite, except for magnetic domains and the expanded body-centered cubic lattice parameter as a function of temperature, and is therefore of only minor importance in steel heat treating. For this reason, the beta phase is not usually considered a distinct phase but merely the high temperature end of the alpha phase field. Alpha iron ferrite at 912 degrees Celsius the crystal structure again becomes BCC as alpha iron is formed. The substance assumes a paramagnetic property. Alpha iron can dissolve only a small concentration of carbon. At 770 degrees Celsius, the Curie point, the iron is a fairly soft metal and becomes ferromagnetic. As the iron passes through the Curie temperature there is no change in crystalline structure, but there is a change in the magnetic properties as the magnetic domains become aligned. This is the stable form of iron at room temperature. High pressure allotropes. Epsilon iron hexaferrum at pressures above approximately 10 gigapascals and temperatures of a few hundred kelvin or less. Alpha iron changes into a hexagonal close packed structure, which is also known as epsilon iron hexaferrum. The high temperature gamma phase also changes into epsilon iron, but does so at a high pressure. Anti ferromagnetism in alloys of epsilon Fe with with MnOs and Ru has been observed. Experimental high temperature and pressure. An alternate stable form, if it exists, may appear at pressures of at least 50 gigapascals and temperatures of at least 1500 K. It has been thought to have an orthorhombic or double HCP structure. As of December 2011, recent and ongoing experiments are being conducted on high pressure and super dense carbon allotropes.